Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave. This is going to be a Dr. No shave, a James Bond tribute shave to Mr. Sean Connery, the first James Bond on the movie theater, and released in 1962, Dr. No was the uh, very first James Bond film. And I'm going to be using a 1962 razor today, Gillette Slim Adjustable. And I believe this is an O, is it an O3? Let's H, an H, I'm sorry, an H3, 1962. It happens to be my birth year. And I'm going to be using, I'm not going to be using the, uh, the Gillette Blue Blade in there today. I'm going to be using uh, the Feather. Same feather I used the other day. Uh, this is the second use for the feather. Uh, I used it in the Black Beauty the other day. And I'm going to be on setting number two. It was uh, interesting because I love James Bond, as, as you can see by all the movies. But that was the first one uh, that had the, the, the start of the movie with the rifling through the gun. It's a little bit different than later movies. See, take a look. Just a little bit different. All right. Well, today, um, besides that, I have picked up how to buy it from England, uh, Floris number 89. Now, in the books, uh, Ian Fleming's books and Ian Fleming himself, James Bond used this and uh, Ian Fleming used this. I don't think I've ever seen it in the movie being used, but uh, in the books, uh, Floris number 89 was James Bond's cologne. And I ended up getting the Ude Toilette instead of the aftershave. And to be honest, I've never even smelled it yet. Let's see. Oh, man. It does have a nice smell. A little bit on the spendy side. About 75 bucks for that. I think I got free shipping, though. I'm going to be using for the shave cream today. I was going to use a stick, but, uh, you know, it's really dry out. So I'm going to be using some Nivea uh, Men. Nivea for Men. Original shaving cream. I'll put it in that crystal bowl that I've got. And did you like those props? I mean, you know, how <laughs> I had to look. I had to buy these from England. You know, the uh, old pound notes. The old, uh, the old 20. It was uh, very difficult to, uh, to find some of those and at a reasonable price. So I was waiting for that. I was waiting for these, the cigarette lighter uh, and the, uh, well, the actual cigarette case there was my grandfather's. Uh, he had that cigarette case and it's England. Fact, check it out. England. Kind of cool. That was my grandfather's. And then the Dunhill Roller Gas. Some cool props. But let's get to the shave. I'm going to be using the Simpson Chubby. Is it the Chubby One? The Chubby One. Super Badger today. My dad, I remember that was the brush he brought from England. I don't know if it was the Chubby, but it was definitely a Simpson. And to this day, I can't find it, which is kind of a drag. Because, uh, you know, once things get lost, it's really hard to find them again. And it probably got dumped by my mother some time ago. Okay. Let's put a little bit of that Nivea in here. Uh, a little bit in there. I could have probably just face lathered this, but here we go. Friday night. There we go. Pouring out. Friday night already. I'm gonna go out to my with my wife for dinner. A movie, maybe. We'll see how it goes when she gets home. Mm. Nivea. Yeah, you can really face lather with this stuff. So many scenes in that Doctor No. I mean, the first time we ever get to see James Bond. Here he is. 
suivi. C'est suivi. The house will cover the difference. Bien, madame. Oui, monsieur. Chargeur, s'il vous plaît. Carte. Carte. Neuf à la banque. I Une need carte. another thousand. I admire your courage, Miss... Uh... Trench. Sylvia Trench. I admire your luck, Mr... Bond. James Bond. At the club. Never played back or at my life. Played 21. Blackjack. But I guess in that game it's 19 is what you're shooting for. All right, here we go. The feather just takes that right down. Another good scene. Introduction of the Walther PPK. Then from now on, you carry a different gun. Show him, Amra. Walter PPK, 7.65 mil with a delivery like a brick through a plate glass window. Takes a Brouch silencer with very little reduction in muzzle velocity. The American CIA swear by them. Thank you, Major Blue Lord. Thank you, sir. Good night, sir. Any questions, 007? No, sir. All right, then. That one I remember pretty good. I'm going to th throw a few scenes of that movie into the shave today, and you can always fast forward through them if you're not a James Bond or a Sean Connery fan. I don't know who isn't, but here's him using that gun. Who are you working for, Professor? Well, you might as well know, as you want to live to use the information. I'm working for... Mr. Smith and Weston, and you've had your six. All right. Ironically, the last movie by Daniel Craig, you can't see it, but uh, I got a Spectre poster there, and I've actually got an autograph from Daniel Craig from the movie Spectre. In Dr. No, near the end, uh, you got to see Joseph Weissman as Dr. No introduce himself as uh, a member of Spectre. With your disregard for human life, you must be working for the East. East, West, just points of the compass, each as stupid as the other. I'm a member of Spectre. Spectre? Spectre. Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, Extortion. The four great cornerstones of power, headed by the greatest brains in the world. Correction. Criminal brains. I even wore the Rolex tonight. Although this is a 1969 Submariner, or 67, excuse me, a 1967 Submariner, it would have been more appropriate in a thunderball shave. But we've got that lined up too, why not? Should do one for each movie. See if I can get a razor from each of the years those movies were released. I suppose I could do pretty good up to uh, the later part of Roger Moore's. All right. Feather really cut down on that. Still cold as hell here. More rain coming our way. We're in the thermal under. You know, everybody says, who's your favorite James Bond? And it would have to be Rod or Roger. Have to be Sean Connery. Although I grew up with Roger Moore. Rode to the movies on my bike and paid for uh, the man with the golden gun when I was 12 and 74. And I've, you know, pretty much all of his movies. But uh, I actually, I really haven't seen a bad James Bond movie. 
Casino Royale, the David Niven one from 69. You know, it's a comedy. So I wasn't really enthused with that one. I had not seen, uh, I don't know if you can see down here, on Her Majesty's Secret Service completely till a few years ago. And that happened to be a good movie too. I was kind of an idiot to give up the role of James Bond after one movie. Remember when I was in England as a kid, my folks got me that Corgi Austin Martin. Uh, Corgi the brand name. And it had the uh, rotating license plates and the ejector seat. And uh, I still had that beat up old car today. Got it, uh, got it in my garage there. But when I was back in England in 1996, last time I was in the UK, I was in a thrift shop or an antique store when they had that car in the box, mint in the box from 1964, from Goldfinger, of course, uh, 65. And I bought it for, I think, 100 pounds. And I've got that in my safe because, uh, man, that's like a pride and joy. I just love those movies. The feather blade works good the second time, better the second time than the first time, that's for sure. Yeah, no issues, no blood. 1962 adjustable slim. It's nice when you can find them in the boxes and they have different colors. They have red, they have blue, they have black depending on the year they were re released. So it is kind of nice to get some of these, these old collectibles. All right. Since I'm gonna use a cologne today and not an aftershave, some fairs. Text messages coming through. I wear that Apple watch to track my sleep, my health, my walking distance, mainly for exercise. So I just got back from a run with a dog. So I was wearing it to track. All right. That's a neutral smell. Floris. I'll list in the uh, description of this video what the specific scent pattern of this is because my nose is still messed up, as you can tell. So, it smells good, but... Oh. Oh. There's a burn. We'll see how Mrs. K likes it when she gets home. Thank you for watching the Dr. No James Bond tribute shave. Uh, thank you for watching the channel. I really appreciate it. And your subscriptions, I really appreciate them. We're heading up to 10,000. Got to do a cool giveaway at 10. Have a lot of ideas. So uh, it'll be here before you know it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Stay dry. I mean, uh, there's a lot of storm. It's a polar vortex still going on. So you guys are getting frozen out there. We're getting a lot of rain too. So stay safe. And uh, we'll see you next time.